<clears throat> when they accused the woman of adultery, the Pharisees and all the hypocrites and stuff. And uh, Jesus said, woman, where are thy accusers? He said, um, he who was without sin cast the first stone. Everybody disappeared. Where are thine accusers? Nowhere did I hear. He said, well, neither do I accuse you. <laughs> Your sins are forgiven, daughter. He said, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. So, God is gracious and merciful. It's not a, um, it's not a free pass. It's just a sin, you know, we're not supposed to be out here fornicating and committing adultery and things of that nature. We're not supposed to be living in sin at all. God is forgiving. He's gracious. Um, we were born in sin, so he knows our weaknesses and he knows, uh, where we are. He knows why we do the things that we do. Um, there's a story of Rahab in the Bible. So Y'all need to check into a lot of these things. Um, look into why Moses Moses had a speech disorder or something to that effect. And um, I think he was he, he drank wine, you know, a bit. Um, it was the reason why people do what they do. It was the reason why, you know, Moses had a huge assignment. He had a huge assignment. Nobody understands. When you set apart, people don't understand your assignment. They don't understand your purpose. They don't understand your covenant with the Lord. And then you go out and you're in the midst of the adversity of this cold world. And then you're looking at these people, you know. And now you're a new creation because you ain't cussing folk out like you used to, you know. Um, you know, God, um, he helped me with that so much. I'm so thankful. I used to cuss like a sailor. It's because like a sailor, you know, I was angry. I had an angry spirit on me, you know. That was after the, um, like, orphan, rejection, abandonment, you know. You know, things to attach on to you. These are coping mechanisms. We build up a, we build up a defensive shell, you know, and so we lash out because uh, we haven't had good shepherds. You know, well, to do. That's the prophecy of the shepherds. Woe to woe to the wicked shepherds. Woe to the shepherds that scattered his flock. Y'all know y'all. I ain't got to say no names. Uncle, Dr. Cliff Robinson. Um, yeah. Uh, turn it just now. I mean, let's just throw it out there. Let's just keep it real. Might as well. I ain't heard from you. <laughs> y'all ain't checked on me and my children. What and what? What did you say about the widow, the orphan, and the children? Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing for 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 the the children in your family? But you know uh, that goes to say, you know, it says, uh, you know, Jesus Christ had no honor in his own. It says, is that Jesus of Nazareth, the carpenter's son? You know, so a prophet is without honor. It don't have no honor in his own home. So I ain't no different. <laughs> it's okay. And I I don't put no title on me. And people say D -d 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 -d. I don't put titles on me. You know, all I know is what God has do has shown me, what He's done for me, what He's delivered me from, the wisdom of King Solomon. Oh yeah, He said, "In greater, there's one among you greater than with the King Solomon." He said, "The Queen of the South, glory, hallelujah!" And that is a rhema word, a rhema word. The Queen of the South, because she's among you, she will judge you accordingly. You know why? Because she's been there. She knows what you do. She knows why you do what you do, and she is justified because God elected her. This is she. You looking at her? That's right. You looking at her? And I give God all the power. He He has all the power, all the glory, all the dominion, all the honor, all the praise, all the worship. He is worthy to be praised. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Mm. Who, Jesus, hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Father God. I'm going to tell you something about the Holy Spirit. When it grab hold to you, it quickens you. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Sometimes it won't let you go, and I'm still recording. 
because I'm not going to miss a beat. And um, on my old Facebook page, Tanya Raquel or something like that, look on my Instagram, look. He said, don't believe them other people. He said, but, but, but the one with the sign of the prophet Jonas, look at the pictures. They speak for themselves. I don't have to say a word. Those with eyes, let them see. Those with ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. And get that. Get you a new heart. It's a new day. It's a new covenant. So receive it. Blessed to be a blessing. And yes, I talk a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh.